Okay, so we're in Kentucky now. This we're on high adventure for like the next few days. So this morning we all met at Brother Harrison's house at like 4:30, and we just drove like the past eight hours here. Fun fact. Are you vlogging? Yeah, we got stopped by the police <laughs> for speeding on the way here. Wait, did he actually give you a ticket? No, he let us off with a warning. Yeah. We were going like the same speed. We were like, we we're going to, to scout camp, so he just let us go. <laughs> anyway, we're at this, so we're at this like cave place. We're going spelunking, and I think today we're doing like this bat cave. I don't like caves. Or being Or being underground, because I don't like feeling trapped. Like, I'm not claustrophobic. But yeah, we'll see how this goes, and if there are any bats, and I think there's water inside the cave, so hopefully I don't die. Okay, so we're going to the Bat Cave right now, and it's supposed to be two hours long, and there's supposed to be, like, water. They say, like, it gets to waist height. I'm not excited for this. I want to see some bats. If I do not see any bats, I'm going to be really mad. And I- look at how bright this light is. Like, how is that supposed to save me? I'm going to get lost and die in this cave, guys. Look at- there's, like, fog coming out of the cave. Look at this entrance. That is the cave. Okay, we've been through this really, really muddy room. Um, we've walked through water, like, up to our shins. And now, we're going through what they call the duck walk. Which, they said, like, there's like a ten foot drop, so don't go down <laughs> This cave is scary. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, look at the ceiling. It like glows. This is so much crouching. I'm going, my legs. I can't do this. What the? Who are these people? Day one in the cave. I've seen two spiders. Hello there. Zero bats, and my feet are becoming hypothermic. <laughs> Save us. They have a death wish. <laughs> Little baby stalactites. It's a fox. We survived the cave. We're just wet and muddy, though. We need to go set up camp. Okay, so camp is all set up. Some of us are sleeping in tents, but a lot of people are also sleeping in hammocks. Um, tonight we just had like burgers and hot dogs, but they're all out of burger buns now um, So it's steak, I guess and We have a fire all put together Kai, how long have you been working on this? Basically gotta be ever since I got and lazy It's like through the middle of a big room Okay, I have, I have an idea. so for the past hour and a half Kai has been digging at this to get the steak out because it's still stuck in the ground the sword is out of the stone. Put it back in. We'll, we'll pretend like he did it for the first time. <laughs> he gets to keep it, right? Put it back in. Oh, he's trying it for the first time. We're recreating it on camera, so act like it never happened. You sent it off. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, you guys. Last night, as we were just sitting around the fire, I think Isaac was the one who found a raccoon going through somebody's stuff by the hammocks and so this raccoon they tried to scare it away and it ended up just running up the tree and sitting at the top of the tree with like the hammock on the tree so for the next half hour all of us were shining flashlights into the tree doing whatever we could to try and get the the raccoon down and then another raccoon came and then a fox came and yeah, it was, <laughs> it was crazy. Also, I'm very happy to say we have a shower house, even though it's a little bit of a walk from like our campsite, but very happy. Okay, we're about to do cave number two. This is the Cascade Cave. This one, they said, is more developed, so it has like stairs and lights and stuff. Less inside. wet. Yeah, and it shouldn't be wet. And they said we should see some bats inside today, so. No, no, it's locked! Okay, we're at the Cave. 
call this part the graveyard. <laughs> First, first bat. Tiny little bat. Okay, there's an underground waterfall here. Look at this. Dang. Okay, what'd y'all think of that one? It was fascinating, enlightening. <laughs> Mind expanding. <laughs> I've never been more and extremely thrilled on the back. Brilliant. I liked that one. That one was cool. It was a shorter cave than the bat cave, and we're not even sure if the one bat we saw was a bat, but it was cool. Not that stupid. So we came to the lodge and stopped so Michael, Ken, and Brother Reigns could go get some soda from the vending machine. <laughs> what a guy. Look at these horses. Sounds like that's got a horse car. car. I want to see this place is everything. There's a pool down there. Know, Look at this. I, I, I Atlantic. Atlantic. Why can't we go to the pool? Okay. So, we had lunch, and now the plan is to do the self guided tours, which means we don't have a tour guide, and it's Wild Cave. So we brought our own <laughs> we brought our own lights. <laughs> we we're well prepared, obviously. And um so yeah, if we get lost in this cave and we can't find our way out, um they'll know where to find us. Yeah. <laughs> Royal cave? Now this sounds like my type of cave. I don't know. This will be interesting. It's supposed to be wet and muddy in there, which, you know, I'm not excited about, but we'll see how this goes. <laughs> This is the Laurel Cave. <laughs> okay. Yanny <laughs> Cave. Um, we had to just walk like through the mountains to get here, so I hope this is worth it. Um, let's not get lost. Well, this is kind of neat. It's kind of wet in here. It's alive. It's raining. Ah. I'm not a fan of that. Look how high this thing is. <laughs> oh, that's a wild cave creature. <laughs> Safety. We lived. Okay, JK, we're turning back. Oh, hello. Back into the cave. These are some true adventurers right here. Get brother to Spain go. Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. How big is it back there? That's awesome. There's a little, little room like this big, but it goes back a long ways. Oh yeah, this is small. <laughs> what is this? Just sit down. Okay, sit down. Like, there you go. Now sit down. And then you can make it. And then you can, you can video. Dang, look at that. That's cool. Okay, we made it out of the cave, and I think there's another one that we're going to explore. But it is pouring right now. Like, look at this. It literally went from clear to this in 10 seconds. It and we're packed. like a good, I don't know, mile and a half away from the cars. This is not ideal. What should we name her? Sal How do you know it's a her? Sally the Salamander. Yeah, you can move her a little bit. <laughs> what about Sal the Salamander? Sal. Sal or yeah, Sally. Sally. Or Sammy. Oh, there it goes. Okay, where are you going? Hey, where are you going, huh? I think sometimes we all feel like this fly. Woo! That's deep. <laughs> That's what not- oh my god. Look at this view. <laughs> That's my uncle. So let's discuss how Daniel's diet so far has consisted only of bread, of namely bagels, which he has brought, and Cheerios. while Don't about Cheerios. the rest of us enjoy <laughs> Hawaiian haystacks. <laughs> I guess he just doesn't eat anything other than bread. He's had bagels for every meal today. 
Enjoy, Daniel. <laughs>